in a temperature hotel. <clears throat> oh, I gotta pick out a bronzer, I gotta pick out a blush, I gotta pick out a highlighter, I gotta pick out a concealer. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are talking about if I... All of a sudden all of my makeup disappeared, slash... If I had to go buy new makeup, what I would buy, slash my desert island makeup, if I could only have one of each product, type of product, on a desert island... In a temperature hotel. Temperature controlled hotel room with five star room service, I would buy again. <laughs> Okay, so yes, this video I've seen a couple times uh, in my feed and my suggested like the makeup that you would buy if all of your makeup disappeared today, what's the makeup you would buy to create like a full face of makeup and all of these products, I just wanna like preface, I love all of them, but they're like the type of product I would buy and repurchase and I will tell you why. And we're gonna go from the very beginning of uh, coverage products all the way to lip products, okay? So these are all of the products that I would go out and buy right now if I had to repurchase a full thing of makeup. We are halfway through a move right now, and so like Steven being in and out of the house, the dogs are going crazy, so <clears throat> all of my fur moms out there, you understand. Okay, so Tex and Helen, they just don't listen to me. Okay, so the very first thing is primer. Primers, I wouldn't purchase. I would not repurchase a primer. You don't need them. If you are purchasing like high-end foundation that has quality ingredients that lasts a long time, that's good for your skin type and, and skin issues, you don't need a primer. That's one thing I've learned over the years. And, and this is also prefaced with, let me preface this. Like this is also like a kit of makeup of what I would go out and purchase if I lost all my makeup after all of these years of like learning things that I don't need and the things that I do. So a foundation primer is not one of them, but the type of foundation I would go out and purchase, in my mind I would think I would want it glowy, I want it long lasting, and I want it like full coverage. So I wanna go out and buy a foundation that I can control the coverage of, and that foundation would be something like the YSL All Hours Foundation. Now I have a ton of favorite foundations, but as far as wear time, uh, the type of finish, of foundation and the way I can control the coverage it would be YSL all hours hands down it lasts so long I have a full review on it if you would like to see it but I love it, it has an SPF of 30 so if you're on a desert island and there's sun girl you got your SPF and everything this foundation is wonderful so this would definitely be the first foundation that I would go out and pick up all right next all in one lump sum. I thought about it and I was like, oh, I gotta pick out a bronzer, I gotta pick out a blush, I gotta pick out a highlighter, I gotta pick out a concealer. I have learned, and it's like saying this is like so like sacrilegious the way I used to think about makeup. I have learned I love duo products, multi-use products, and all of that good stuff. I used to love individual products and I hated products that had more than one purpose because it just seemed, I don't know, like one part of the product would work really well but the other part was just like not there for me but I am all about multi-use products and the thing that I would purchase, I would go out, I would purchase something that was a concealer, a bronzer, a contour, and a cream highlight because I love cream products. That product would be the Makeup Forever HD Skin sculpting palette. I recently just received this in PR and I have used it non-stop. It is the only contour, concealer, and bronzer that I have on and it is gorgeous. I mean, I cannot believe, I mean, I can. Makeup Forever makes great makeup artist products, right? So multi-use products, they've got your back. It's wonderful. But this right here is what I have on for concealer and there is enough coverage for under the eyes to just like actually cover my dark circles, which my dark circles are so bad. And I use this shade as contour, this shade as bronzer, but there's tons of shades in here that you can mix. These here, these cream highlights are stunning. This right here is so many products in one. And this is something that I would have totally used on like other people, but shied away from myself. You know what I mean? Like I would take the time to like pick out certain different products with this. 
it, it is like, you see how much space this takes up? Girl, I would go out and purchase this for my cream contour, cream bronzer, cream highlight, and concealer, all in one little tiny package. This is definitely worth the price tag. I believe it's $85. But you get all those products in one, and it actually like is perfect for travel. Like it's in my travel bag right now. I know I'm in my studio right now, but going back and forth, and we're about to go uh, do some stuff with family. It's in my travel bag. It's so easy to travel with. I love how the like using part of it to mix my concealer shade and things like that. How I can just get like such a hydrated, un brightened under eye. I'm obsessed with this palette. It's so good. So. This would be all of those products. I would, this is the first thing I would purchase for all of those and replace everything that I just mentioned with this one palette. So let me show you, I'm gonna show you because I have used this palette in some recent videos and I obviously have it on my face, but here's the cream highlights. You guys, seriously, how glowy and beautiful. I don't know what's the heck, who the heck pulled up just now. I think it's UPS and they are going nuts. Like the glow on these, they are like individual. Like I would go and I would get a pot of these highlighters. I would say they're like $30 highlighters. You know what I mean? Like a cream highlight, $30 in these in this amount. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna lose my mind. And you get three of them in this palette and you can mix, like let me mix them all together. You have a pinky one, a champagne -y one, a white one, you know, like, oh, actually more goldy, but mm, so good. <laughs> All right, next. I have I can't believe I'm saying this, but for powder, if I had to pick out one product to replace my powder products to set my concealers, because I don't need to set the YSL all hours. That's another thing about this. If you have dry skin and all that good stuff, you don't need to set your whole face with powder. It will last you. <sighs> I didn't even withdraw a loose powder to bake with because this powder is just so good. You can layer it and kind of get a baking effect or you can just apply it all over your face lightly, whatever you want to do. It is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. I love this powder. It is like a healthy matte finish, but it just kind of like blurs and perfects like no other setting powder. I love the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder, but for like a, an actual setting powder that blurs, but also looks like you don't have powder on, the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder is stunning. I have the shade Zero Neutral. It does hard pan. Okay, I'm not happy to report. So I would just scrape it, you know, when I already have like scrape it with a little spoolie and you're good to go. And honestly, after like scraping with a little spoolie, you can use that excess and set your, your makeup if you're in like a pinch, you know what I mean? But this is the powder that I would immediately go out and buy and I feel like it would replace pretty much all of my powders and I would just give up baking. If I had to pick, you know, cause we're picking one product for each category, this would replace all of my powders, all of them. So it's just something that like, if I went to look for a powder, I would want something that perfects, is lightweight, it blurs and kind of brightens. This does it all. Okay, for blush, a product that I would go out and look for is definitely a cream blush, okay? But thank the heavens that they make duo products now and this is the blush I would buy. Hands down, it's the one I have on today. The Patrick Ta Double Take Cream Powder Blush in She's Baked. This is like a reddish, type of sun-kissed duo. So you've got your cream blush, okay? Cause I love cream blushes. I was like, okay, so what cream blush would I get? But then like, if I pick a cream blush and then what powder blush because I like to layer? Boom, I forgot I had these duos and organizing my makeup has really changed my life recently because now I know what I have. She's Baked would be it. I have it layered. I have the cream layered with the powder. And what's so wonderful about the Patrick Ta Double Take blushes is that they, they can be layered and it doesn't doesn't like pick up product and you don't look, you don't start looking crazy and you know, powdery and cakey, but she's baked. I feel like it just looks like you got a little bit baked in the sun, you know what I mean? And I love it. And this would be the blush. This would be the blush to replace all blushes. And if I felt like just doing a cream blush one day, I could have that. If I felt like doing just a powder blush, I could have that. And here it is swatched on my hand. So the cream, the cr the <laughs> I do not need to look at monitors. I get so, like backwards. Okay, so here's the cream and here is the powder part. So, so pretty. Okay, for highlight, even though the Makeup Forever, you know, has the highlighters in there, I had to mention a powder highlight because 
you just have to have a powder highlight because here's the thing you can use it as eyeshadow you can use it as highlighter you can use it on your decolletage you know what I mean and in my mind when I'm like okay I have to go out and I have to purchase one powder highlighter to replace my highlighters it would be the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in Clarity. And here's the reason why. These highlighters, they developed these to actually blur and they were like the first highlighters with this like type of technology and they launched, I don't remember when they launched, but anyway, well, mind blowing, okay? The thought and the technology put in these highlighters, it's not your average highlighter. I love being able to take my highlighter all the way up underneath my eyes and I can do that with the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighters and be because they blur and like make you look like you have like a cream product on, you can use them on your lids. That's what I have on for the, the uh, shimmer part of my eye look today. And your eyes don't look crepey, but you can still get that beautiful glow, even though you might have, you know, some crepiness there or, you know, dry upper eyelids. The Sunscape highlighters. Oh my God, my nose is just so bad, okay. Oh. The Sunscape highlighters give that effect. Clarity would definitely be the one I would go for for if you're more fair skinned. I love all the shades for different reasons. I've talked about them so many times. This is the type of highlighter that I think could replace all of my highlighters for that very reason that it blurs. It makes your skin look very, very hydrated. So this would be the one to immediately go into my shopping cart. And like, look at that glow. I mean, look how high I can take it up on my under eyes and just not pay the price for it, you know? And here is the swatch. <gasps> Oh, it even like blurs your fingerprints. It's pretty wild. I would say the, the highlighter that's close to the Sunscape highlighters is the Charlotte Tilbury Architect, uh, Face Architect or whatever highlighter. But honestly, with the packaging, like being so sturdy and you know how the Charlotte Tilbury one like spins, I prefer the M Cosmetics to the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, even though that highlighter also blurs. I just really appreciate the good kind of quality packaging that M Cosmetics does. All right, next, now we're talking eyeshadows, okay? And I was going through my eyeshadow palettes and I was like, well, I gotta, you know, but like, what if, you know, what's like the eyeshadow palette that I could just, it'd be the only eyeshadow palette I would ever need again. And I have to say, it is an all matte eyeshadow palette because it can be used as smoky, to dramatic, to light, everyday looks, and also as eyeliners. It would be the By Mario Master Matte's eyeshadow palette, hands down. And here's why, because when you you have a good highlighter that blurs and, does, and makes you look hydrated, you can add shimmer and shine. You don't need an, a separate eyeshadow palette, you know, to replace a shimmer. An all matte eyeshadow palette like this is a must have in any makeup kit, whether it's your personal one or for other people, clients, whatever. A good matte eyeshadow palette is just like absolutely necessary. And Mario developed this to look like skin and it honestly does, it is such a go-to for me. I love this eyeshadow palette. I will always love this eyeshadow palette. I think that the mattes are just uniquely creamy and blendable and it really does look like the eyeshadows are coming within your skin, coming from within your skin. And if you like shop smart, if you're like developing your, did I just have a fuzz fly into my mouth? Oh my god. Huh? I mentioned this in another video, but I think my dogs are going through like a spring shedding phase and like just their hair. It's like I hold them and then for like two seconds and then the rest of the day, there's just like dog hair in my nostrils, in my mouth, in my ears. It's like, oh my God. Anyway, if you are trying to develop a an affordable makeup kit, going for something like a matte eyeshadow palette and having a highlighter that is complementary to your skin tone, you can use it as your highlighter, as your eyeshadow, as your brow bone highlight and all of that stuff. So this would be the eyeshadow palette that I would purchase or something like it, an all matte neutral eyeshadow palette is just absolutely necessary. It would be this. Okay. Now, like I said in the beginning, I've never been like a duo type makeup person until recently, honestly, like a multi-use makeup item is just like never appealing, it was never appealing to me. Eyeliner, if you can get yourself a good duo eyeliner, like one side skin tone, one side muted blackish brown, this would be the eyeliner that I would purchase first. I would go out if I lost all of my eyeliners, I feel like this is the only eyeliner I would need as far as a pencil liner. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes Liner Duo Enhance Magnifier. This one is in something 
Hollywood, but there's so, look at all this. There's like so many names and stuff, but I will, uh, I'll have everything I talk about and mention in the info below linked in order of mention. So a good skin toned eyeliner to brighten the eyeballs. Perfect. We need that. You know, sometimes you want to have a more open eye look. Sometimes you want a smokier eye. Like today, I wanted a smokier eye and black is great. But for me being so fair, sometimes I feel like it really just like closes up my eyes. So if I can find a good like muted brown, muted black or a browned black eyeliner, I love those types of eyeliners and that's what this is. So it's two eyeliners in one and it doesn't irritate my eyes. This, this lasts in my waterline and on my eyelids. So this would definitely be a, just like the only eyeliner I would need for a very long time until all of my makeup needs just got in my head and made shopping lists and things. You know, this would be the only eyeliner I needed. Now, because I love a good winged liner and I love wearing lashes, I have to have a, a liquid liner in this lineup. And if I had to purchase only one liquid eyeliner to replace all of my liquid liners, it would be the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Eyeliner. I love the brush tip on this. It is so easy to create thin lines and thick lines, like in one swoop. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't run all over my face. It works amazingly for my lash bands. I like to, you know, apply it to my lash band to darken my lash bands. And then I like to connect my lash bands. And I have a whole tutorial on how I apply lashes. So I will have that linked below. But the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes even beats my beloved Tom Ford, the duo liner one. This liner cannot be beat. Rare Beauty, man, they knock it out of the park like most of the time. I can't think of a product that I don't like from Rare Beauty right now, honestly. So, but anyway, the liquid liner is something that is just like irreplaceable. This would be the only liquid liner I would ever need again. And that's fine with me. Okay. So next, when I thought, what mascara? I love mascara. And mascara is one of those things that it's so hard for me to find that doesn't smudge, flake, anything like that because I have hooded lids and I feel like mascaras get all over my face and my dogs are starting again. No, no, no. After all of these years, I have learned that the best mascaras for those problems, hooded lids with you know, smudging and flaking problems, especially in the heat, okay? When your lashes are touching your eyelids, I have to go close my door. <laughs> yes, a, a tubing mascara. It's also very humid outside and my house is very humid, so ex excuse the frizz. The mascara, it would be Hourglass's Unlocked Mascara. It's the mascara I have on today. I love YSL's Lash Clash, but when I was like, which one would I repurchase first? It would be Hourglass Unlocked, just because it gives you like lengthened and separated lashes. Here is the applicator and I'm sitting way too close over there. Okay, so it gives you the glossiest, blackest, like longest, separated, soft looking lashes. And I love it, it lasts all day, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, and it is a tubing mascara. So if you have hooded lids and you have smudging and flaking problems, let me tell you, okay? Get yourself a tubing mascara. That's that's the type of product that you need. And that's the type of product I would go out and shop for. Okay, brow products. Immediately would purchase these two. I've learned that the cooler toned type of blonde eyebrow products are just irreplaceable. Hourglass arch brow in platinum blonde. This is what I'm wearing in my videos all of the time for like the past six or seven years. Right here, it's like the perfect shade for blondes. It's not too warm, so you don't end up with like red brows or anything. You can really get a lot of precision because it's like a triangle type eyebrow pencil. Bottom line, would purchase like a taupey blondie shade for brows. And I would not own a, like a like a pot pomade. I had a lot of phases. Is, well, I, would, I don't know, maybe I should try that again. Now that I'm thinking. Anyway, brow gel. The thing that I've learned over all of these years, the type of brow gel that just works best for my bra, my blonde, well, kind of blonde, blonde eyebrows is a blonde, like pomade brow gel. I used to exclusively wear clear brow gels. Not anymore. Merit 1980 brow in blonde. It gives you like faux hairs. It has enough hold there to keep all of your brow hairs in place. And 
it's soft to the touch, but it doesn't like mess, you know, it doesn't look messy, it lasts all day. It's a really great shade of blonde. It's what I'm wearing today. It's what I'm wearing in all of my videos, but I just wanna show you this duo and why it would be the first brow setup I would purchase is because look at that. Is that not like the perfect blonde duo? I mean, to me, I feel like it is. So this is exactly what I would go out and purchase immediately as like a, blonde brow, brow pomade. Okay, if I couldn't have a pencil, I would definitely purchase a brow pomade that's tinted, which is so crazy for me to say because for so many years, like I said, I just use clear. So these two together, immediate repurchase. Last but not least, if all of my lipsticks were gone, immediately, the rapture happened for lipsticks, okay? Ooh, oh my God, I was so scared of the rapture when I was young. And then I think back on all of those types of things that really kind of like traumatized me as a child. Like the really, uh, anyway, that's a whole other topic. Moving on, lipstick. <laughs> I lost all of my lip products, okay? Which I own like the most out of all of my makeup products, the products that I own the most of are lip products. It's shameful, okay? But lip products are my favorite. If I lost all of my lip liners, I would, and I could only have one, it would be max stripped down. It's what I'm wearing. It is just like, you know, a classic warm nude that looks so good with all nude lip products. It's what I'm wearing today. Stripped down looks beautiful by itself, like as a matte lip and like a clear gloss over it. Oh my gosh, can't get over it. Okay. Out of all of the lip liners I own. Okay. And I recently went through all of them. Hands down, MAC stripped down is probably my most repurchased lip pencil anyway, but this would be the lip pencil that I would purchase first immediately. And then the lipstick. You guys, this is what took me the longest to prep for this video was the choice of the lipstick. It's what I'm wearing today. And if you've watched me for a while, this won't be a shock. It's a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It is Charlotte Tilbury's Nude Kate. I love a good warm kind of pale nude and Nude Kate and Strip Down are so pretty together. And Nude Kate is just like a really unique type of like warm nude with the perfect amount of shine, wears down beautifully. I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I actually have a video where I swatch every single Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I've ever purchased. So if you would like to see that, I will link that below. These two are the only lip products that I would immediately go, I need those immediately if I lost everything. Actually, look at that color story. That's all really pretty. <laughs> together. Okay, so these are all of the products I would, the type of products and sort of the products I would go out and repurchase immediately. I have tons of favorites, you know, like Holy Grail staples. And I just did a video talking about all of the products that I've repurchased for like 10 years. So if you'd like to see that video, I will link that below too. That's a t different type of video. I'm saying, I guess how I would say this video would go is like, if I lost all of my makeup, what would I go out and purchase to create my perfect makeup kit? And these are the only products I would need to achieve my favorite types of makeup looks. It would be these products. And I will have everything in the info below listed and linked in order of use. If my mind works right and I don't. Gosh, I've been like misspelling stuff lately and linking things incorrectly and like just, this move plus my health issues, it's been a lot, but thank you for bearing with me. I will have everything in the info box below. Let us know what your products are. Like if you lost your entire makeup kit, list it in the comments, you guys. Like your comments are the best, honestly. You guys leave very shoppable comments and it makes me personally as like a makeup enthusiast and makeup artist very happy because I have found so many great products through you guys. So list out some products or your entire list, top to bottom, what you would go out and purchase. We would love to know. And please like this video if you like videos like these. Oh my God. Helen! <sighs> Let's YouTube know you enjoy my content so you, so you see it in your feed. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. We have such a beautiful, amazing, positive community on this channel. I'm so proud of the community we've built here and we would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. I like these types of videos. So I hope you do too because you just watch this. <laughs> All right. Thank mm -hmm. you.